Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favour to ask you. So, visit me sometime? Alright, so I'm going to have a little bit of a different thing with this episode. I'm not going to do any significant storyline stuff. Really, all I wanted to do was venture northward to Novigrad. Now, it's a city on the northern edge of the map, and, well, it's quite a thing to take a look at. But we got to get there first. Hey there. Halt! No passage! Bridge is closed. Because? Because King Radovich said it should be. Won't let anyone through who don't have a pass. Who issues these passes? Why, you need to know. Your kind don't get passes anyway. Not the right type. <laughs> My kind has its ways. We just have to know where to look. Oh, well, that's different. It's royal officials who issue the official passes. Take it there are also unofficial ones, then. Hmm. Contraband. If you will, black market issue. You might ask folk near the crossings. Do just that. Now, we have a couple of different options on how to make our way through here. We can go and do exactly what this guy wants. We can go find somebody who will get us access to cross over, or... I can just sort of bypass this some bitch and go all the way around. Now, looking at the map, it does seem like there are a few different ways that I could cross in order to get over. I mean, look how wide this map is. And this is just one bridge. So they're not really going to be able to stop us. So I'm going to swim across. Now, you got to be careful while doing this, because if you swim too close, these soldiers are going to spot you, and I guess they're going to start launching arrows. So, give him a wide berth. Halt, or we'll shoot. And now you do have to also be careful because swimming around tends to attract the attention of drowners. And, well, drowners are named Let's drowners for a reason. Off. They tend to do a... They love their drowning. Let's There's a couple over there, and they're high level too. So, keep clear of them. And find your way to shore as quickly as you can. Wow, the water in this lake is very shallow. The suspicion that I have is that the developers were not intending me to really go to this part of the game yet. Because by the time I got there, I realized that the a lot of the quests and stuff were simply leveled higher than I was. And I wasn't really prepared to do anything out in this direction. Fight the monsters, do any of that kind of crap. So, them gating me at the bridge was clearly something that they did intentionally. But, you know, having an open world game like this, and if they want to have a true um, claim to the name of an open world game... Oh, the horse managed to cross over. Why don't they just ride the horse? It got here faster than I did. If they wanted to have a good claim to this being an open world game, they have got to be willing to give you options of uh, how to play and all that. Now, we see the city of Novigrad up in the distance there. And it is surprisingly large, and even though it's still not realistically scaled compared to what cities were, I believe, it does come across as probably the most realistic portrayal. The, it is pretty big. It's a port city. It's got these big stone walls surrounding it, and all of the roads and structures on the inside seem to be rather haphazardly placed as though it sort of naturally got built, built up over the years instead of Rain having again. been like, planned. So, on one hand, it gives it a nice aesthetic. On the other hand, it makes it a little bit of a pain in the ass trying to navigate around on the map. A lot of areas. Similar, and you got to check the map a lot. What do you have on offer? 
Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long? 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibia Hattori. Former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver, frequently. Ernst Van Horn? Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Take it he's important in the underworld, too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss-poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. 
Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. This is a character that we're going to go running, or at least I will be running back into quite a bit throughout this game. Because he, once I can get the tools for him, which I will not be doing in this episode because I'm not high enough of a level, he will be able to craft weapons for me. And there's somebody else I can find to go and craft armor. But, um, I'll end up, every time I loot weapons off of a significant number of enemies, I'm just going to ferry them back here and sell them to this guy. And then use that money to fund the weapon crafting and all that kind of stuff that he's capable of doing. So, he's probably the NPC I talk to more than any other in this game. Now, I'm not going to go much long, longer with this. I just wanted to show this city, take a quick stroll about, and give you the idea of the scale of this place. It's pretty impressive. 